Assalamu alaikum friends, you are watching Knowledge TV. Today with a new topic, that is the restoration period in English literatures. We are made values on Puritan age, Elizabeth age, Anglo-Saxon age, Chaucer age, and Middle English. You can watch in the previous video. I make a playlist of English literatures. You can easy access to these videos. First of all, if you are new to the channel, kindly subscribe my channels and click the bell icon for new videos. Today topic will be about the restoration age. A question arises in your mind that why this is age is called restoration age. Uh, today topic uh, I will explain in three parts. The first part will be the restoration poetry. The second part will be the restoration drama. And the third part will be the restoration prose. Step by step I will explain that you might understand the restoration age. Why this age is called restoration age? The restoration age started just 1660 to 1700. And why this age is called restoration age? This is a common question about restoration age. That why this age, age is called restoration age? The age is called restoration age because the Charles I was beheaded by the Favoritans, a group of people which are led by John Milton at that times during the reign of Charles I. Uh, the favoritans, uh, they are the work under Cromwell, and they beheaded Charles I. After that, Charles I's uh, son, Charles II, was uh, run away from England to the other country. And they was brought back to the England, and he became the king of England. The Charles II became the king, and therefore this age, age is called Restoration Age. This is very important age on the basis of English prose. The prose, uh, prose of this age is very famous. Just Elizabethan age is considered uh, most famous for drama. The restoration is famous for what? Or famous for prose writing. So in this age, the uh, poetry become so realistic and satirical. Dead things are gone from the poetry which are present during the Shakespeare age. Because writers were much interested in this age in the reality, not in the aesthetic sense. In this age, the poetry becomes, in the beginning, realism took an ugly shape because the writer painted the real picture of the corrupt society." End quote. They were more concerned with vices rather than with virtues. The result was a coarse and period type of literature. Later, this tendency to realism became more wholesome and the writing tried to portray realistically human life as they found it. It's gone, its will is bad side, its internal is less, is internal external shape. The tendency to present with ultimately become the chief characteristic of restoration period made lasting contribution to English literatures. So English poetry in this age, how was English poetry in this age? The most famous figure in this age was John Dryden a great literary figure of Restoration Age. His poetry, John Dryden's The Restoration Poetry was mostly satirical, realistic, and written in the Hurric conflict, of which Dryden was supreme master. He was the dominating figure of the Restoration period, and he made his mark in the field of poetry, drama, and prose. In the field of poetry, he was, in fact, the only poet worth mentioning, and he used him under the influence of Cowley, and his early thought was the characterization and exaggerations of the metaphysical school. The poetry of Jadran was very realistic in the age. The most famous works of Jadran I mentioned in here, that is, the poetry that can be conveniently divided under the three heads, political satires, doctrinal poems, and the pebbles. Of his political satire, Absalom and Achitopils in the middle are well known. Apart from this, the two great doctrinal poems of Dryden are Religious Lacy, The Hand and the Panthers. The fables were written during the last years of Dryden's life, showed no decrease in his poetic powers. The, poet, uh, the poetry of Dryden was divided actually into three forms. The first one, the religious form, the second, the fables, and the political poetry, because in during the political situation became very worst in England. Charles II was restored, and the people were much influenced from the Puritans. Uh, and the poets, especially the poets in that time, are not interesting in such a type of poetry that has uh, aesthetic sense, uh, romantic uh, passion, etc. These things were missing totally in the 
restoration poetry because people uh, influenced under the favoritism is which John Milton poetry full of didactic purpose. They are much religious poetry and they are lacking such a lyric. The lyrical is there, but uh, the main theme are to show the ways of God to the men. So they are re much realistic in the age. Okay. Apart from this, the restoration drama, uh, the in 1942, at a big accident happened. Incident happened uh, in England because the theatre was closed. Theatre was closed by whom? They were closed by the Puritan. They were closed. It, it is uh, just uh, deprived the people from the religious senses. So they closed the theatres. Restoration drama. A little bit explain that what happens uh, that uh, what happened to the or dramas of this age. Okay, in 19 uh, in 1642. The theater was closed by the authority of the parliament, which was dominated by the Puritans, and so on. Good plays were written from 1642 till the restoration coming back of monarchy in England, with the accessions of Charles II to the throne in 16th century. 60. When the theater war reopened the drama in England after 1660, called the restoration drama, showed entirely new trends account of the long break with the past. Moreover, it was greatly affected by the spirit of new age, which was deficiency and poetic feeling, imagination and emotional approach to life, but headlight on the prose is medium of expression and intellectual, realistic, critical medium of expression and intellectual problems. A new type of genre of dramas developed in, the, in this age, and that was the comedy of manners. Uh, uh, most famous uh, writers on this age was John Dryden, the comedy of manners and imaginations and poetic, uh, poetic feelings were regarded as vulgar enthusiasm by the dictators of the social life. But its actual life meant the life of the artist, aristocratic class only. The nation, the most popular form of drama was the comedy of manner, which portrayed the sophisticated life of dominant class of society as gaiety, property, insolence, and entry. Thus, the basis of restoration was very narrow. Apart from this, let's go to the restoration prose. Uh, this is very important in this age, and the prose of restoration is considered a very uh, magnificent and important in the English literature. So, in this age, many writers come to the stages, but John Bunyan, you may know about him, was a well known personality of this age. His uh, 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 pilgrimage progress is very important world in this age. Okay, so let's uh, talk about uh, John Bunyan, that what his contribution to the prose of English literature. John Bunyan, next to Dryden, Bunyan was the greatest prose writer of the period. Like Milton, he was imbued by the spirit of Puritanism, and in fact, if Milton is the greatest poet of the Puritanism, Bunyan is the greatest storyteller. To him also goes the credit of being the precursor of the English novel. His greatest works, the pilgrimage process, just as Milton wrote his paradise laws to, ju to justify the ways of God to men, Banyan M in the pilgrimage process was to lead men and women into God's way. The way of salvation through a simple parable with only character and exciting event like Milton Banyan was endowed with highly developed imaginative faculty and artistic instincts. Both are deeply religious and both though their distrusted faction were the master of fiction. Pilgrimage process has described the pilgrim of Christian to the heavenly cities, the trails of tribulations and temptations. So this work was the most famous work in the Restoration Age. I hope you will understand the Restoration prose, Restoration Drama, and the Restoration Poetry. So very